Hello viewers, it's Trudy Lee with love inspiring you to be a better you. And the topic for today is divorce. Are you and your spouse contemplating divorce? Are y'all just not getting along? Things are just not happening the way you thought they would. This marriage just doesn't feel like you think a marriage should. That hot, spicy, fun time that you used to have with your husband is a thing of the past or your wife. Sometimes as life goes on, we all know that our feelings do change, you know. We grow and mature and our feelings change and how we felt about things 10 years ago, five years ago, is different. So it's not that we don't love our spouse, it's that we love them differently. It feels different, it is different. Now at the beginning of your marriage, of course, all of us, when we fell in love, we were hot and passionate and couldn't get enough of each other. And nothing that uh, my husband could say to me um, could, you know, damper my feelings for him. And we just couldn't get enough of each other. And that's how most people, when they marry, I think that's how they feel. They are having uh, hot, passionate sex all the time. And then... You know, things cool off after a while, and you start having a family, and you start getting busy making money and providing comfort for your family and getting your home clean and preparing food and just doing all the domestic chores that you have to do to keep a family and a home going. And then your focus just gets askewed. And you don't focus on your partner anymore. And that partner, sometimes they feel left out. And especially for women, women really will start doting on their children. I know I did. When my kids were little, I enjoyed them so much, so much. I was lucky I had a pretty understanding husband and all. And, you know, he never felt really left out. And But I'm sure that he was left out at times. And, you know, we all say that. Our children come first no matter what. So uh, you'll just have to wait, honey. I'm, I'm with my baby right now. Or, I, you know, I need to take care of my children. And we'll just deal with our relationship later. And that gets tabled and it gets tabled and it gets tabled. So, And sometimes a spouse is unhappy and they want to walk, walk away. You know, they just have had enough. They're looking for that. Uh, beginning of the relationship and so they'll go to another person to have that feeling of hot passion and some people chase that hot passion and let me tell you guys I don't care you read Cosmopolitan you read all the magazines in the world have hot hot sex after you've been married for 10 15 years it ain't gonna be like it was the first year you met no matter what I'm sorry it ain't going to happen. But, of course, you can be passionate and love each other and have good sex. It's not going to be the same as when you first met. It's just not. But what will be wonderful in its place is there's a person in your life that knows you better than anybody else that's been with you for the last 10, 15, 20 years. And you can look at that person and you look in the eyes of that person and when you do, it reflects your history that you have together, all the moments and memories that you've had together, the birth of your children, you know, when you had to go take your dog to the emergency room, when you built a new home, you know, when one of your loved ones passed away and you were there for each other. You have this history and you can just look into your husband or your wife's eyes and both of you know it all. You both have the connection of history and time that nobody can take away and nothing can diminish. And that replaces everything, everything. So things change, relationships change, go with the flow. 
sometimes you feel like you just can't stand your partner you just can't stand them and you just feel so angry at them but believe me this will pass this will pass and my advice to you is to remember remember why you fell in love with your your spouse <clears throat> honor your spouse with good thoughts good thoughts about your spouse lead to good deeds for your spouse and it'll circle back to you I promise you it will make sure that you tell your spouse you love them every day make sure that you speak to them in a respectful uplifting manner be sure to appreciate them and let them know how much you appreciate them and it will come back to you believe me it will you know the saying have good thoughts say good things and do good deeds and that applies not just to your life but applies to your spouse too I once I, w I was reading on Facebook and somebody wrote I couldn't believe this and you may feel like this too but somebody had wrote in and said I've been married for 14 years I have three small children and uh, my husband is a wonderful father but I'm just not feeling it anymore you're just not feeling it anymore really so you just want to screw up everybody's life everybody's life because you're not feeling anymore you're not feeling it let me tell you what this is what screws up children and you know messes up your spouse and also yourself yourself so if you're not feeling it anymore for your spouse just take some time it'll come back especially if you've got a good husband a good wife that's loving good devoted kind a good mother or father why do you want to throw it all away why we are all beings of love and even if you think you're not feeling love for your spouse on an unconscious level you are because we're all love and you really are feeling love for your spouse and you can rekindle that love and time will be on your side with that I've been married for 40 years and I've gone through ups and downs myself and let me tell you I can assure you that love will always be there and if you want to observe the love and open the love it will be there I think uh, if you would like to rekindle the love and you make an effort your effort will pay off and in upcoming videos I'll help you um, make some choices that will rekindle your marriage that'll get a spark going but just remember the love is there it's always been there it will always be there don't ignore it keep it going I love you guys and blessings to you and your family may you cherish one another have a good day